you're going to like this. I want to compare these two lists, equals AA compare two lists, and spit out the differences. So here's the first list, comma, here's the second list. And there we go. We've got it only in list one, banana, only in list two, strawberry and peach. Brilliant. And check it out. It can work on an entire column. So I could go like this, equals AA compare two lists, that entire column with this entire column, close the bracket, press enter, and now we can see Catherine is only in list two. So we come down Catherine there. And if we scroll down list one, we can see that Catherine isn't there and so on. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to show you how I built it. Let's go. All right, so we're going to start with an X match just to compare the two lists. So we're going to look up this list in this list. Now we're talking Office 365, and I'm also going to use trim range a little bit later. So you really want the latest version of 365 for all these features. Okay, so we just say that. And essentially this gives us the number where this word apple appears. It appears the second item. Oranges appears in the fifth spot. Banana does not appear at all. Okay, and then I'm going to just check if the answer is NA. So is NA. Open the bracket, go to the end, close the bracket. So there's my trues. And now I can filter that first list based on these results. Because when you're doing a filter in Excel, you can basically just do a filter based on trues and falses. So if I do filter and I highlight this little list, comma, and then include, that's it, the trues and falses, press enter. There we go, that's the item that's returned. If this was changed to orange, okay, because this says oranges, if I change that to orange, we're back to banana. Great, okay. So what I'm going to do is parameterize this by using the let function, because then I want to sort of do the other way around. I want to also compare this list with that one, and then sort of stack the two side by side using the hstack function. So on their own, all these little functions aren't particularly tricky, but put them all together, and then we're going to put them into a lambda so we never have to remember them. Okay, so we're going to start with a let function. Open the bracket, Alt Enter. Okay, underscore, let's call it list one, is um, B4 to B8. Well, I'm just going to highlight them to save typing it in. Comma, Alt Enter, underscore list two, is the D4 to D8. They don't have to be the same size. This will work fine either way. And then we can just basically replace these. And the only reason I do underscore is that I can just type them here, underscore, and then they pop up. Saves all the other functions popping up and things. So list one, okay, underscore list one, double click, underscore list two. And really the formula, extra bracket on the end always, <laughs> the formula should just work, right? And if I just do alt enter at the end, just to, Make the end of the let a bit more obvious. Great. Okay. So then actually I want to do the opposite. So this one is going to be called the underscore list one only. That's going to be that first formula. And I'll bring it up onto the same line. There we go. Okay. Comma. Alt enter. Underscore list two only is going to be the second parameter name. And then I'm just going to copy this code. All right, I'll include the comma in here. Okay, filter and then just flick this around. List two, list two, and then list one. Comma, okay, Alt Enter. And then I just want to stack the two of them side by side. So H stack, okay, underscore list one only, comma, underscore 
list two only. Close it on the H stack, press enter. Beautiful. Okay, so there's banana, and it's shown in NA because there's only one missing item, but there's two items on this list. So what I could do is say, right, I actually want to wrap this thing in um, if error, then I'll put a blank. Oops. Okay. And then I just want to put the list one at the top and list two at the top. So uh, let's do a V stack. So a vertical stack. Open the bracket. Okay. Uh, list one only. Put a bracket at the end. Okay, and then another V stack under here. Beautiful. Really, then we can just say, okay, what if this list was a bit bigger? Let's have, add a few more and press enter. Okay, that's great. And if this had peach in it, but we've got all these zeros as well. So I don't want all these zeros, especially if I want to refer to an entire column. Also the formula would be very slow. So I'm going to go into here and say, I want this list one to be a trim range of B4 to B12 and a trim range of D4 to D8. Okay, beautiful. And if I get rid of peach. Okay, let's just test this out a second. So what if there's uh, nothing missing? So let's say um, this was also peach. Now my whole formula disappears, including the headings. Yeah, I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this V stack out of here. Okay, I'm actually going to create the headings as, as a separate heading. So let's take the V stack out of here. Okay, take one of the brackets out. And what I'm going to do is uh, V stack this. So V stack, I want to stack the headings. Okay, uh, to put the headings in manually, curly bracket. Okay, list one only, comma, list two only. So that's like a record. Close the curly bracket. And then a, at the end, I want to do a bracket to close off the V stack. Okay, so at least we got this. And all right, and we've got an NA showing here. Um, now strawberry should be showing up as a mismatch and this is really down to this being an error that there's no items at all in this list that are missing. So what I'm going to do is just come back to the formula here for list one and put this is the if the filter returns an empty. I'll do it both ways. Okay so then if this was also Apple, you know, it's it's working, but as soon as you go back to strawberries, and if this wasn't peach, it was something like grape instead. Yeah, because I've changed peach. So now peach is a different one. You know, it's working. So the final step is to turn this into a lambda. So why bother? Well, this is a bit of a nasty formula. Let me neaten up a little bit more. Um, I'm going to v-stack that with that. Okay, uh, close the bracket on the end. Look, it's not a very nice looking formula. You're never going to remember that. So if you save it as a lambda, you can reuse it across different spreadsheets and simplify it. So I'm just going to highlight this, control C. I'm going to go to my Excel labs add-in. I'm going to go to my uh, names here, functions, okay, and go plus. 
and the function name, let's call it AAA uh, compare lists. You can put whatever sort of elements you want at the front. You don't even have to put any elements. They're just nice that you know they're your lambdas by putting some AA for access analytic. Okay, but I put three A's here just for now. Um, this will be um, compare to lists and show exceptions in two column table. Okay, list one comma list two comma. So there's my two arguments in here. Get rid of it. Highlight that equal sign and paste. You don't want the equal sign twice. So all we do is say, right, this is going to be list one and this is going to be list two. They're going to be passed in by the function and we are good and we click done. Okay, so here's our code, which I can edit at any time. Done. All right, save. So the function is called AAA compare list. So equals AAA compare lists. Highlight the first list, comma. Highlight the second list, list one, list two. Press enter. And there's your exceptions. Let's try that out on the big list here. Okay equals AAA, compare lists. Here's list one, column J, comma. And because I've got the trim in there, this really helps. Pretty good. All right, so I've saved these lambdas in a thing called the lambda gist. So here we go. It's this one, the compare lists. Okay and a bunch of other ones, duplicates, um, flagging two ranges. I've got a whole bunch in here, and this is the URL you need. Again, I'll put it in the description below. Um, and all you do is you go to your modules, and you go to your workbook, and you click on import from URL. Paste that in, say import, and you've got all my lambdas that I've written there in that gist, available to use. Okay. Um, I've even used autocorrect, so I type the word gist and press enter. So I've got autocorrect set up to bring me my list that I can import it to any workbook whenever I want. It's pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Do you find that useful? Did, you, did I skip over something? Is there a better way of doing this? What's your thoughts? Um, like I say, I'll make this file downloadable so you'll have these lambdas in it already and all my other ones as well. Um, but if you ever need it, I'll put the link to the gist as well. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you find it useful. And I'll catch you in the next video.